Hey, this is Charlie with 4 Easy Truth. I'm going to keep this short, but I'm going to hit it hard. Um, just wanted to bring up a couple um, things in regards to the New World Order. Um, now, 1 Corinthians one twenty seven says, God chose the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And then uh, I think it's Ephesians 6.12 that uh, the battle is not against flesh and blood but against the principalities and powers and rulers of darkness and uh, now I, I'm talking about the, this world of deception that we live in um, that God's going to use the foolish to expose the world that we live in basically and uh, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm in a really interesting spot in my life. And uh, I've been kind of saying here and there about some recent changes that are taking place in my life. But um, I'll start with this. <laughs> um, you know, the, the foolish things in this world... You know, it's interesting because when we're talking in terms of, of this <clears throat> conspiracy, uh, I think about the the flat earth or ex enclosed uh, world or enclosed system. You know, Bill Nye talks about it. Um, there, there's people in the mainstream that talk about this is a closed system and that nobody can leave the earth. And, uh, you know, no one's ever gone to the moon things like that. There's, I don't know what, what space is. It might be a projection of something or whatever the case may be. I'm not trying to advocate for the flat earth on this video. All I'm trying to do is just show the, the new world order, um, uh, you know, platform that they're, or, you know, they're, they're just a circus act. Everything that you see that's on display is just a, a stage. You have, um, you know, the media, they're doing, like, false flag attacks. They're doing uh, things to control the masses. Um, the New World Order or the Georgia Guidestones are talking about uh, controlling population to 500 million so that, uh, you know, they, they can control uh, the population better w with the elite uh measure control measures um you know is it, i started thinking about how cities um well in terms of, of just the world that we live in you know everything is a functional uh system um that the way i see it is god created systems um <laughs> well Hold on, let, let me skip ahead to the next section here. I have uh, something that goes along with the Grand Conspiracy. Um, the Grand Conspiracy, also known as uh, Control. Um, the thing that got me into all this is uh, the debate between creation versus evolution. And... Uh, this is something right here that has helped me look at this reality like there is no way that this was not a creation by an intelligent designer oh little man so if if the government or the system is capable of presenting evolution as the mainstream view. I don't see why they wouldn't be capable of hiding the reality that we live in uh, behind the facade of, of the globe or um, the universe system. Now, uh, you know, if if First Corinthians one seven says God uses the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. It's 
to me that sounds like you know what is more foolish than the flat earth concept um, in the battles not against flesh and blood but against principality and powers you know we are not here to fight out battles with other people we're actually this is a spiritual war you know something that's taken place beyond our perception and uh, angels and demons and whatever God's you know defending his people against the evil here now um, so so going back to the the new world order pretty much everything is part of that big grand stage of deception and everybody is operating in their lives in a state of being pacified so they've created a system where we could you know be <laughs> interactive with oh I hope um, oh my gosh I'm, I'm so blessed in my life this is amazing but uh, I feel like the only thing that is, is good comes from every good and perfect gift comes from God so the things that we do have in this world um, like riches and um, stuff that we can acquire it's actually uh, it's um, oh man this is this is riches if you ever seen riches and <laughs> oh that is my riches you know I thought that this this video would kind of trend a different direction but I really just wanted to point out that the deception is way bigger than the flat earth it's way bigger than the enclosed earth it's way bigger than chemtrails it's way bigger than um, whatever deception you can think of it's all part of the, the big system so you know George H.W. Bush talked a lot about implementing the new world order the one world government uh, I'm kind of thinking more and more that Trump is just part of that, um, which is interesting when they talk about the in the Book of Revelation the last Trump. Um, you know, I don't know if that's like a, a play on words or you know, but he uh, seems to be this Messiah or Savior that people love, and he seems to be opposing the the new world order. But anybody that has a, a place of power in this world has to be put in place, in my opinion. Um, so I'm not on the Trump train. I I feel like you know he is just a, a an, an instrument or uh, the mouthpiece of the new world order. Um, and he's just, I'm sure he's making a, a decent amount of money in the world that he's in, in the, as a president, but, um, and I'm not necessarily judging his character, I just feel like anybody that's involved on the highest levels are infiltrated, um, and controlled by this quote-unquote shadow government, so... You know, I, I, I believe that once people start digging and trying to understand the depths of this reality and the patterns that you can find, um, you'll start to see how all these little puzzle pieces kind of connect. And... Um, you know... I'm going to say right now, Flat Earth is just another little puzzle piece, and I don't really like pushing it so hard because sometimes it seems like a cult to me. A lot of people are so 
adamant about the flat earth. Now granted I feel like it is a very important puzzle piece in this big picture but I still feel like it's it can be a very big distraction from the bigger picture and you know the only thing that really matters to me at this point is waking people up um, you know I have a family I love so dearly you know my my brand new little son here has kind of sh shifted my perception quite a bit <laughs> just in the last week I can see some serious changes taking place in my mind and in my heart which I feel like it, it's a bigger push for me to get people to fully embrace truth and trying to expose the lies so anyways I think I'll just leave it at that for now plus my little guy's getting a little fussy I think he, need, he needs to eat so um, I love you guys I appreciate you you know hanging out and listening to me talk a little bit and um, I hope I hope you're doing well um, leave a message if you're interested in dialoguing with me so uh, like and subscribe to this channel and uh, I'll just keep them coming thanks have a good day bye